you just to get this thing started. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. You know, I've been waiting since the season ended, really, just get it started. So, really, just it's taking way too long to get to November 11th. Really, just can't wait for it to come around. Are you a go for the first team? Yes. How much start, or you're looking just to come off the bench at that point, or what, what's the what, whatever they feel is uh, best for the team? You know, the way I've been moving, the way I've been playing, I, I feel like I could go into the starting role and not lose, skip a beat. But if they feel that it's best that I come off the bench, then that's what I'll do, whatever is best for the team. How do you like this new style? I mean, it's like you have one unit, two units, and you guys are going to go 10 to 11 to Um, You know, I like it. I think, you know, it gets guys to play hard for, you know, all the time because we're subbing in so many guys, so many different guys. Um, especially for me, I always like to play, like, real fast and go real hard. So. You know, the tempo style is like, that fits what I like to do. Do minutes mean much to you? I'm, or is that something that, you you know, with this new style, would you need a breather at the pace that the team expects from you? Personally, I don't get tired. So it's like, it's whatever. If, you, you know, he sells me out, I'm going to go to the bench. I'm not going to have an attitude, but I don't really get tired. But, you know, minutes aren't a problem. If we're winning games, I'm not going to complain about how much I'm playing or how much I'm not playing, as long as the the wins stack up. How much does everything need to be tweaked after the last couple of weeks? You've had a couple of scrimmages under your belt. What, what kind of things do need to be tweaked at this point? Uh, I just feel that the guys need to be, you know, more accepting of their role. You know, everybody was the man. We got a lot of new guys. Everybody was the man where they were before. I mean, you're not the man here yet. I mean, you might be later, but, you know, there's still guys that's been here, Braun, Cam, those guys are the guys right now. So people just need to see what they can do to help the team win, whether it's, you know, crash the glass every time or, you know, just boxing out or getting on, diving on the floor for loose balls, making an extra pass, little things like that is going to go a long way for our group. What's it been like just kind of integrating all these new players with the existing group of guys? Um, you know, personally, it's been fine. Like, together, we're always together, you know. About 12 of us live on one floor in the edge, so we're, our doors are always unlocked. People come in whenever they want something or needs or just come to hang out. Uh, as far as on the court, it's uh, it's been a little bit tougher just because we've only had six or seven guys that played in the Division One basketball game. So, you know, we need – that's why these scrimmages are so meaningful because we need our, our new guys to get their feet wet and to see that, I mean, the game's going to get real. This isn't junior college. This isn't high school anymore. Like. This is a real deal, so we just need everybody to get on board and, and get with it. Is that a tough transition or that you notice with maybe guys you said that were man at their high school coming in and realizing that they're going to have to share time? Is that a tough transition for them and a tough transition for some of the veterans to know that, hey, maybe I'm not playing as much as I used to. Maybe that's the style of what we've got to do here. Um, yeah, I, I believe it's a tough transition. I was just thinking about when I first my first games, you know, it was a growing transition from non-conference to conference. You know, you just had to learn on the go. And then, so I just know, I know that's a difficult process. You got to deal with the speed and the length and, you know, the different type of body. Guys are bigger, guys are stronger, guys are faster. So you got to be able to deal with that. Like I said, that's why the scrimmages are so important so they could get a little taste of what it, what it really is. And as far for the veterans, you know, as far, like, we just want to win. So not playing as many minutes and as long as it equals wins, they'll be, like, we'll be fine. If it starts to look a little, like we're not winning as much, like we feel the need to play. We'll we'll say that to coach because that gives us the best look on the floor and the best opportunity to win games, and that's what we'll do. But as far as minutes for the vets, like getting as far as we've gotten in the tournament, we just want to win now. It's, it doesn't matter who gets the glory. It doesn't matter who gets the fame. It's just as long as we're we're the ones winning at the end of the day. You've been you know, through this conference before. How does this style, in your opinion, go to play in your league? It's something that's a huge departure from what you guys are used to. Um, but it's not something you guys haven't seen before. Play. So right. Is this something that you think will benefit you greatly when, when the league play comes? Uh, yeah, I do. I think it's going to speed up the game. I feel like, you know, prior people could take their time with us uh, because we played back. and But now we're such an up-tempo defensively that, you know, we're trying to rush guys. We want guys to go fast. We want them to go out of control and, you know, turn the ball over, make them take bad shots. And I just feel like that's going to really help us in the, you know, in the long run. It's going to help us with the conference because – Maybe a couple teams do it, but they don't kind of they don't do it the way we do it. So many teams may feel like they're going to be okay. They're going to be used to playing 
against that type of defense, but when we get out there, it's going to be a different ball game.